So we found out exactly what happened in this building. And man, it was just a lot of juicy details. Especially since one of them actually jumped off of that big old hole on the side of the house here. I gave you clear instructions, did I not? Hey sis, thank you for joining in on my second episode of The Sinking City. And yes, I am doing some detective work. Because, you know, since I am job searching, I figured, let me see what it's like to be a detective. See if I like it enough to try and apply to be a real, to be a real detective. And so far, I'm just failing at this job. I don't even know what to do. Hold on. Now I know what to do. So the fisherman that attacked the kid fled through this big old hole that we see here. Question is, where did he land? Well, obviously he landed here, but where did he go after that? It seems like maybe over here? Because at this point, it's like, where else can he have run off to, you know? There has to be something here for me to... Wait a minute. Wait a minute! Over here. Right? I see the police signs. So this is the lifeboat, okay. Let me see here. I hope someone finds this. My name is Albert Throgmorton, and this is my will. I want to warn you, don't go to the depths below Oakmont. There is unreadable. We should have never done that. Everything should have remained in that cave. Professor Unreadable, I fear what will become of me. It's singing in my brain. Dancing on my eyelids every time I close my eyes, unreadable. The cycle goes on and on and on and on and on and on. Damn, this guy is crazy. He's really losing his mind. Unreadable in the end it comes. I must warn everyone. I must tell my father, unreadable, he's here. Wow, that note. That note. Okay, so this helmet is about to tell me something. Something with this helmet gives me chills. What's wrong with it? Can't catch a mackerel since those insmouthers took over the fishing business. WTF, I know, this you game... Like it, newcomer? Well, get used to it. No one leaves Oakmont nowadays. Do you like it here, newcomer? Okay, I get it. Get used to it. No one leaves Oakmont nowadays. I feel like there's something else that I need to look at. Question is, what is it? Where's your Oberon, huh, Titania? Ooh, wait. Maybe, okay, now I know how to use the camera. Right here. Perfect. I've said everything I know. Don't yeah, yeah. Think stupid newcomer. Yeah, yeah. That's where I can see him. Oh, okay. So all I had to do was take the pictures and leave. Man, I am the worst detective ever. Mr. Throgmort, I found this in the lifeboat. Looks like it's your son's will. Give it to me. Oh, Damn. Okay. What did you get yourself into? If only I hadn't sent you on that cursed expedition. Wow, that's it? We're not going to ask about the cursed expedition? I gave you clear instructions, did I not? Let me look into my mind palace, see if I can actually connect. So, F Albert attacked the fisherman, right? But then, the Thormortons and Innsmouthers are in an ongoing feud. Fishermen suffered a sudden psychotic outbreak of 
after Albert Throng sorry, Throng Morton regained consciousness. Hmm. There's an ongoing feud, obviously. And he returned, did the shots. Anti Thor Morton sentiment as an in smother, Lewis and his people suffered at the hands of the Thor Mortons. That could be a reason to hate them. Albert spread hysteria around him. Albert Thorn Morton spread some sort of psychotic influence which made everyone nearby suffer hysteria. Okay, so then I got these four clues left. Let me see how I'm able to, like, piece them together. This one and that one. Albert Thong Martin was dangerous and posed a threat to Louis Flynn and his fe fellow fishermen. So... I can't track down Albert. Albert and the fishermen named Louis fled the scene after the fight in the house. I can track them using my supernatural sense. All right, so this must be Albert. Where did you go, big man? Because that's what I want to know. Because you did all of this. You got up. There was a fierce fight here, but someone tried to flee. And you left. Where did you go, Albert? This way? Okay. Where did he run off? Where you go? Oh, hold on, hold on. Here? Wow. A bullet. So the fisherman pursued Albert. Even let off a few shots. Interesting. Okay, Albert, wh where else did you go? Over here? Yeah, I I'm a detective with, like, weird supernatural powers. I would be the one, right? So, you went up here? If Albert was wounded. He managed to climb that high. Robert wasn't exaggerating when he said he raised him strong. So, can I climb high? Come on. All right, detective. Where can Albert be? Over here. Okay. He got a little bit delirious, probably from a lot of bloodshed. And he went in here? Okay. So, Albert escaped to the warehouse. Ooh, what's this? Oh. Hmm. There's something in the pocket. And it's bloody, too. Bloodstained note. Lewis, please just give me one more week. I know I owe you, but I'm underwater like everyone else right now. I don't yet have enough stock to operate the bar smoothly with the fuzz snooping about the port. But don't worry. I've struck a nice deal with the proper people and should have a steady supply channel soon. Just one more week and I'll return everything with double interest. Peter. What's that noise? Is someone here? The blood is fresh. Whomever it belongs to could not have got far. Oh no. Fresh blood. That means someone's in the basement. And you know, everything crazy happens in the basement, so I'm not really looking forward to this. I see more blood here. But no Albert. Hmm. Albert, where are you? It smells like fish and stale cans. Oh. I see a door. Blood trail leads to this door. Padlocks and weak planks can be broken with a shot or a melee attack. The door won't budge. 
So we're talking this. Because I don't mind getting my pistol out. Let's go. Oh, come on, man. You ready? Ooh. I'm feeling very detective-y. Oh, my God. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, what is that? What is that? What is that? You know what? I'm about to quit this job. I don't even want this job anymore. Screw that. I don't care how much money I'm getting paid for this. I am quitting. Ah! What is that? Oh <gasps> it disappeared. I killed a monster. I killed a monster and that shit disappeared after I killed it. The fuck kind of alien ass looking spider creature? I don't get paid enough to deal with this. And number two, look what we have here. Look what we have here. Are you Albert? One fatal round through the forehead. That's no accident. This was deliberate. Oh gosh, are you kidding me? Albert is murdered, bro. Murdered. He ran into the warehouse thinking that he was able to escape from being attacked. When in all reality, he was running to his graveyard. What is that? Is that another one? Ew. Oh, this is so horrible. Dude. That's that monster. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh we need to leave. We we need to jet. This is not it. First of all, I just realized something. The fuck is that fish? Yeah, this is fish. He went into some warehouse factory. Is that money? Ooh, gunpowder. Thank you, I guess. Oh my goodness, this is insane. You know, I thought this was going to be like a cliche detective game. Where I'm going to have a hard time putting the pieces together, but... It, it's not bad. It took me like 15 minutes to figure it out. <laughs> oh my goodness, though. Wait till I tell the dad that his son is just murdered. He's gonna be really pissed. Is there anything? Nothing. Metal scrap. Cool. Alright, let's tell the dad. Mr. Throg Morton, I'm afraid I have bad news. No. Yeah. Yes. I found your son in the basement of a nearby warehouse. I'm sorry, but he was murdered. Shot in the head and the body hidden. No. It cannot be true. No, no, no. I don't believe it. No. I'm sorry for your loss. I really am. My condolences, Mr. Thorgorn. I had hoped for a happier outcome. Your condolences will not bring him back. Oh, he's mad. So much of our blood spilt for nothing. So much effort in vain. My poor Albert. Tell me you know who did it. I want to look him in the eyes. Make him beg for mercy. Yeah, seems like he was a fisherman by the name of Lewis. He had a gun and pursued Albert after he fled the house. Lewis it is, then. What do you know of him? Turns out you were right. He's an innsmouther. <laughs> Those filthy scum have done it now. When I'm through with them, they will rue the day they dared lay a finger on a Throgmorton. Bring me that dirtbag, Lewis. He and I are do a reckoning. Do this for me, and I'll help you with anything you need. Alright, so let's go back to the Mind Palace. And deduct some clues right here, because we, we found some new stuff. Hmm. Maybe... Lewis may be at the bar. 
Lewis, the intmouther that killed Albert Throngmorton, may be hiding at the bar in Oakmont Port. And once we get to the bar, if Lewis is there, he's gonna have a lot to answer to. Wait, the bar? Oh, right here. Wow. Trisha, you mean to tell me? You're gonna look at me in my face and say this place is not Bridgeport, Connecticut? Well, it's either that or Waterbury with the amount of dirty water I'm seeing on the floor. Yeah, this is crazy. All right, someone's gonna need to answer my question, so. A fortune teller? A card player? Nah, I'm good. Stay alert. Monsters lurk underground. They're everywhere. Monsters underground? Yeah, that's a Bridgeport problem. They're called rats, sir. And they're from the Bronx that actually swam over here. So, Trisha, this is definitely Bridgeport. I don't care what anyone says. Ugh, I'll miss the carpenter's food giveaway with this darn port closure. Okay, so they're too busy being drunk and wasted to answer my questions. That's nice. Welcome to Under the Keel. What do you want? I'm looking for a man by the name of Lewis Flynn. Any chance he's here? Yeah. Even if I knew, I don't rat to newcomers. He's a murderer, sir. As it happens, I know you owe a debt to Mr. Flynn. Trouble is, I found your note near the dead body of Albert Throg Morton, son of Robert. So, it seems Lewis is in trouble. Might have even come here to hide. But you hand him over, and he won't be back to collect what you owe. Get me? Throck. Yeah, I know about that. Blood. Yeah, I got the tea and, tea and dirt on you, Gets big boy. Me this mess, you can have him. So? He's upstairs. Here's the key. You gotta promise to deal with him, once and for all. But save the shooting for outside, huh? Smart man. There's your good deed for the day. I've seen some unsettling creatures around, like nothing I've ever encountered. What are they? Bridgeport residents. So you met a wild beast, newcomer. No one knows what they are, but consider yourself lucky to still be in one piece. They arrived in the flood. Some say they come from the sea. Others that they are Kay's punishment for us. And what do you say? If it bleeds, you can kill it. Damn. Keep your gun handy. That ruthless. You erase the memory. I sell a perfect cure right here. Remember, better to be a coward and live than brave and dead. Unless you're a newcomer. Uh, let me see here. No rats over here. My skull, yes. Gave him up, no problem. Only the ones born in Bridgeport. Yeah, because the thing is, I have dirt on him, and he knows he owes money. So instead of trying to be, you know, a good person, protecting a murderer, give him up, Grandpa. Look at that. And he doesn't even care. He's just standing there. You know what? I want to see who this lady is. Um. Come closer, troubled soul. Yes. Let me tell you what your future holds. What's Some my future, lady? Of, uh, fortune teller? Yes, my dear. Yes. Oh, it's so clear. Your path holds many surprises, newcomer. I hope they're good surprises. Really? Like what? Not so fast, newcomer. I see many things. For a small fee, I'll tell you some of them. Right, some? Some? <laughs> Your money has no value here, newcomer. After the flood, Oakmonter's deal in the practical. Booze, smokes, mm -hmm. and bullets. And mm -hmm. I'll make it easier for you. I don't smoke. You know what? Good for you, because smoking kills. Smoking is bad for your lungs. All the time. Maybe. As you wish. I like a good health-conscious queen. Good for her. 
Even though she's a fortune teller, at least she cares about her health. Good for her. Okay, I'm ready. Ooh, this place is... Hey, yo, this place is looking really... crazy. What the... get the... Oh. Sir, relax, you're on the floor tweaking. Like, leave me alone. Nope, he's just getting drunk. Wow, is this really... a hotel? Slash bar? Look at the hole! Look at the hole! I'm done, that's so funny. Alright. Oh, is that him? Hey, who are you? What are you doing? Ew, yo! Private investigator. He looks so... Mr. Gerard Morton hired me to find his son Albert, so... I think you know why I'm here. Ugh. Hey, yo! That darn bartender. Hey, yo! It was all that crazy ape's fault. You hear me? You Calm know, that's... Down. That's really racist of you to say that, sir. Now. But no, if you reach for your gun, you'll hit the floor faster than you can say poetic justice. Oh my god, a Tupac fan! Hey, yo, but that guy, like... I'm not gonna say anything, um, mean, because I was taught to keep mean things to myself, so... But, I just gotta ask... What kind of... Uh, why do you... Your why you look like that? Uh, why you look like oh, that? So you're here to attack me just because I look different to you? What? Want to spit on me, whisper to your friends? What's new? Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't know how to ask. I've just never met someone like you before. I didn't mean any offense. Innsmouther's bodies were blessed by the she. Really? You're gonna see a lot of us here, so you better get over it. Oh! We are proud of who we are. You know what? I'm really happy you feel that way. There's nothing wrong with being confident in your own skin. Like, more power to you. Start at the beginning. What happened? We... We, we were in our house, me, Paul, and Will. Mary gone to the sea. So I told him that it would only bring bad luck. If he you know what? To me, we'd all still be alive. Come I'm on, in Waterbury. Focus. focus. Right. Well, Barry dragged that damn ape to our house. He was bragging about how much Mr. Throg Morton would give us for saving his son. But that ape, he was out cold. Then woke in an instant and started screaming, attacking us. After that, can't remember a thing. So, sea fisherman from One Piece. Really? Is that what a One Piece character looks like? I've never seen the show, but I'm shook. Number two, at this point, I don't think I'm in Bridgeport. This is more like Waterbury territory. Like, dirty water. The people. The gloominess. But at the same time, it does have Bridgeport vibes because of the amount of abandoned houses and places I see here, too. You shot to kill. No warning, no second chances. You pursued Albert even after he fled. Why? Yeah, why you want to kill him so bad? Well, I can't remember it. Really? When he woke, it was like a, a bloody mist descended over me. First thing I recall after is that darn warehouse and me uh, covered in blood. I had no idea what happened, though. I suspected it had something to do with that ape. Turns out, I was right. So he can't remember why he did it, but he only remember the after, the after effects of it. That doesn't, that is such a cop out, sir. Like seriously? I hear there's a bit of a feud between the Innsmouthers and the Throgmortons. Care to fill me in? Those apes hated us from the moment we arrived in Oakmont. Our home was destroyed. We just needed a place to stay. The Black Refugees. Grand family sheltered us, but others were not as hospitable. We needed jobs, food, medicine. The city denied it all. And so? We had to fight for every crumb of bread. And those Throg Mortons in their high castle only made our life harder. Always conspiring behind our backs. Always setting people against us. I'd love to see them suffer like we suffered. 
Wow, so that's what the fight's all about. Misplaced refugees who are trying to start a new life, and they've gotten everything but help. No wonder they have so much resentment. You mentioned a grand family. What do you mean? <laughs> so you're a newcomer, huh? Explains a lot. Well, yeah. damn, a like... with a gun. Answer the question. I'm just trying to help. Okay. People here are crazy about bloodlines and tradition and reputation. The head hunters of Oakmont called the grand families. There's the carpenters who control most of the city's underworld, the Blackwoods who share kin with Innsmouthers through the Marsh family. And let me guess, the Throgmortons. Right, those filthy apes. Damn. Now that most of the Blackwoods are gone, there's nobody left to protect us Innsmouthers. They really hate the Thornmouthers. The things you did to Albert don't look like a bloody rage. A fatal shot to the head, a hidden body. One might start to wonder if it was deliberate. Well, I don't know what to say. I wasn't myself. Sir, I'm not born yesterday. You did all that on purpose. You shot him square in the forehead. And you hid the body in the basement. The blood trail says it all. I think I've got all I need. Please, Mr. Reeve. Don't tell Throgmorton about me. Why? I know I'm in no position to ask. I didn't want to do whatever it is I did. Honest, have mercy, please. What? I have a family. Without me, they'll starve. Bro, you should have thought about that before you killed him. This is not exactly cut and dry. I need some time to think. Perhaps I can offer something to grease your grinds. I still have a few bullets on me. Excuse me? You're trying to buy me off? That way you won't have the consequences to your actions? You think you're the first person to offer me a bribe? Please, Mr. Reed. No! Don't try my patience further, Mr. Flynn. Wow, that's crazy. That is so insane. And that whole, oh, it was out of blind rage is such a cop-out. Dude. You purposely chased him out of the house. Albert was trying to hide. He ran into the warehouse. You followed him. And you even kept on shooting him. And then by the time the body was found, he was hanged up in the corner in the basement. A bullet between his eyes. And you expect me to believe that was done by accident? Blind rage? Crazy. And just as I suspected, the Innsmouther Lewis is responsible for your son's murder. He's hiding at the local bar. Just ask the bartender. Seems like he had a bone to pick with your family and took it out on Albert. Oh, that scum won't be getting off easy. The whole city shall see what happens when you cross the Throgmortons. Justice. Bittersweet as it is, shall be served. It's rare for a newcomer to make himself so useful. Thank you. Anytime. Mr. Throgmorton, I hate to press you, but do you think you could help me now? Yes. You've earned it. Okay to think a newcomer barely off the boat solves a crime the police couldn't. But yeah, I'm that's impressed. me. I know you're Nobody. impressed. What brought you to a boat? I... I think I'm going mad, Mr. Throgmorton. I see things. Visions. And I needed to stop. I was drawn here, or guided, or... I don't know. But I believe the source of this madness is here, in Oakmont. They're not wrong, Mr. Reed. An inexplicable hysteria spread through Oakmont after the flood. I funded an expedition to explore recent geological activity that may be responsible. Huh. Is that that same expedition that your son went to? And then when he came back, that's why he just started tweaking? A geological expedition? I'm not sure I follow. I have reason to believe the flood and this madness of the same source. As above, so below. So I sent men to find out. 
Has your expedition found anything? I do not know. Albert is... Albert was part of it. Oh, no. This passing cannot be coincidence. Why was he alone at the port? And where are the others? Oh, no. And even if the answers were uncovered, we won't know because Albert's dead. You think your son was killed because the expedition uncovered something? All right, sis. So I'll see you later. I had no news for a week that Albert... The only one I could trust... Glad you had fun. ...sure and is killed. It does sound suspicious. Mr. Reed, I want you to find out what's going on. I expect you're as interested in the expedition's results as I am. Yo, let's talk pain then. Oh, wait, hold on. I need more details, though. If I'm going to look into this, I'll need to know more. Where should I start? I'll give you the address of the expedition's headquarters and a key. Nice. That's all you can tell me? Let me be clear, Reed. Oh. You do not speak to me like that again. Okay, sorry, my bad. Morton. I just meant the more I know, the better. I am a busy man. I funded the research, but left all preparations to Professor Doe and Albert. When you finished, come see me at the Throgmorton family manor. It's in Old Grove. Here, I'll show you. Thank you. Look but at that. Expenses. They will be reimbursed after you complete your task. And of course, you've earned some compensation for your work here at the port. I'll also include a fair advance in bullets. Yes, thank bullets. you. The lost its use here, Mr. Reed. After the flood, Oakmont returned to bartering. Bullets mean more than bills. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.